Okay, different angle. <clears throat> Maybe you can see better. Can we get this gear in there now? So I gotta rotate the gear so the key's up toward me. Slip it down in here. Shove the shaft through it. See the key. Okay, I'm a tooth off from where I want. So I'll pull the pump back out. Rotate the gear another tooth or so. Put it back in there again. Rotate the shaft so it lines up with the slot in the gear. Then we go ahead and put the key in there, holding it with a pair of pliers. You gotta kind of fish it in there. You gotta kind of hold it at an angle and kind of rope. Rot, rotate it into the key slot. There's usually almost no light down here, so it makes it interesting. And we just lost everything. The pump slid that way, and the key went down there, and the bottom was whole. Which is, in this case, you can't get to. Let's see if we get the key to come out. Pump out. Get the gear out. Keys tucked in behind the gear we can't get to it. So you have to pull everything out to get to it. And then it drops down the oil pump hole. Yeah, got my key back. It can be a fun job, as you can tell. I'm going to go ahead and mark this key because I can't even see where it is in here. The groove. Put a little mark on there so I can see where it's at. With this heavy chamfer, you can't even see the damn thing. So it's really hard to see where you're at. Okay, we'll try it one more time. This is going to be a recurring problem, I can tell you already. We'll see how many times it takes before I get it. It takes two times because it went in. Almost dropped it there. Okay, after it's in, you want to rotate the gear around the other 180 over. Go 
because I don't want to put the keyway, I don't want to put the uh, uh, slot on this keeper where the keyway is. So you want to make sure the keeper grooves on the back side over here. So we put that in there. Now we get to go fish this clip in there. Now these clips like to over uh, stretch out and they're loose on the shaft, so we got to make sure that doesn't happen. Otherwise, we get to bend it just like we had to do the, the other one. And tight, I like that. All right, so I'll pull this down so you can see it. So you can see where it's down in here right now. You can see where I got the, the keyway. Yeah, let's see where we're at here. Okay, we got the notch for the keeper here, and if you look way on the back side, inside there is where the actual keyway is at. I'm spinning around a little bit here. See the black mark on the gear coming around? That's where the keyway is at. So we're 180 over. Of course, it's not focusing in there where I want to focus, but oh well. Yeah, a little bit closer, I might see it. All right, so that's how that goes in there like that. Now we can go ahead and put the bolts over here on the outside of the pump and bolt this down, and then we make sure the pump rotates after we do all that. So put the camera back up here. That can be a very fun project to do there. Likes to fight with you. Okay, now the bolts, you got four long bolts and two long and two shorts. The short ones go on the top, the long ones on the bottom. A in washers on all of these. So A in washer is an Army Navy washer. It's a real thin washer like that. So you want to make sure you got those on there. do not go. So there's no washers on the top two bolts. Wonderful. And these bolts are too short to use with this pump. So we're not using those. Okay, we've got some cam cover bolts over here we can use. See a difference in length there between the two. That looks better. You got about a half inch of thread engagement. That's about right. So just because the hardware comes with the pump doesn't mean it fits with the pump. See? Now what I do is I rotate the pump side to side, and you center it right between the two is where you tighten down. Sure all the bolts go in the holes easy before you do all that but in this case we're just doing it now on the oil pump where the fittings come out the top out here instead of the bottom like this is you have to tighten these two bolts up all the way because you don't have access to it once you put the cover on it this one we have access so now we gotta see if these bolts are gonna work and washers. So this one does take the washers on this cover. That's a plus. And it appears we do have a half inch of thread on the bolt. So the bolt's the right length on this one. Threads are not going in worth a squat. I 
That's not very good. So what we're going to do, we're going to put a little oil on the threads. That would be the opposite, opposite of Loctite. We're going to lubricate the thread because we got jamming into the hole in the case because the threads don't match up very well. That went in there pretty nicely with the oil on it. So that works so good, we're going to do it again. find just the right thread to jam it in. It's like it's got two threads going on there. And I go ahead and line up the cover here real nice and even so it looks good before I tighten them down. There you go. I'll take out the other two we tried to put in that don't want to go in the hole. See how it's transferring aluminum on the first thread right there. Put a little oil on it. Try it again. Now it goes in nice and smoothly. Huh? Videoing. You're live. The dinner boy is here. <laughs> Get on this one. See the stupid teeth inside the gears don't line up here? I mean the threads, golden oh. threads already? Oh wow. So, uh, what's eat up front? What's the camera up there? It's, uh, uh, it's okay to you right here? No, you gotta put junk all over my stuff. Oh. I need your burrito gunk all over. Not, I didn't get Mexican food, man. Yeah, of course you not. didn't want Mexican, so I got you a jumble jack. Oh, jeez. Will you eat a jumble jack? No. Why not? Why would I? Because you got your name on it. Got my name on it and everything? There. To the front. Jesus. Put food on my damn workbench? What do you think this is? Fucking the Holiday Inn. No, you mean you screwed my bolt here. What? You're making me screw up my L in there. You have to push yellow all the way in before you torque it. Damn customers. I was being considerate. Inconsiderate. Bribing me with food don't work very well, you can tell. <laughs> Alright, after you get the pump in it, you go ahead and spin the motor over and make sure it rotates. Hopefully nice and even. It appears to still be working, that's always a plus. Okay. Now we're going to try to go at the cam cover. That don't sound like a jumbo jack, that sounds like crackers. Well, I had to get some Mexican food. Oh, you had to get some real food in there, okay, good. You said you didn't want Mexican food, well, I had to compromise. <laughs> I just need a jumbo jack and we need some tacos. Oh, you got tacos, okay, that's how it works. Unless you want a taco. That was a pretty dry taco. <laughs> yeah, it was drier than a popcorn fart. <laughs> Okay, here's our camshaft. We go ahead and put some oil on all of this stuff. Now, theoretically, we already preset all this stuff, so it should I be even perfect. Got your barbecue sauce. Oh, wonderful! Triple barbecue sauce. So it's gonna be like the Mexican food. I'm about to bar uh, go to the bathroom real quickly after I eat. <laughs> I didn't get you any water. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, nothing to flush with. Great. I have to drink out of the toilet before I take to use it. Okay. <laughs> wonderful. Well, I do got some hot sauce here. At least he was thinking, oh, he's got some hot sauce to lubricate it with. There you go. That'll work. Mm. Okay, you got to make sure you line up the timing marks on this thing before you yeah, put it in. Yeah, aren't you glad you got that now? You know, you could have went right to the corner there and got tacos. We are in the heart of Mexico down here, you know. Okay, we got that timing mark lined up. That's an important one. Now we gotta do the breather timing. First we gotta lubricate the breather. Oh, don't go acting like it's good. 
damn, damn tasty. You're just damn, damn hungry. That's all. That's the only way it tastes yeah, good. That's true. All right. So line up that mark there with the other mark. So you got to make sure all three of these marks line up right here. You got the two on the cam gear and the one over on the breather right there. Very important to make sure those lined up. I'm going to take a little bit of oil, stick it right there where the breather is. And the oil will hold on the breather washer, which is right there, which is really was in focus there. Put a little lubricant on it. Make sure you put a little bit of oil over here on the gear teeth for the uh, oil pump. Put some on the pinion shaft, and the cam shaft. Oh, so good, I almost feel like speaking Spanish. Good. You can have that super jack thing there too, whatever that was. Make you feel better. <clears throat> we'll go to waste. The other dog's not here today, so <coughs> you're gonna have to fill in. All right, then you got. Then you got to go ahead and lubricate up your bushings here in the cam cover. Now, I'm not doing anything until I get this lower lower end on here. You already interrupted my damn video with that stupid phone call. He was the one on the phone. All right, so you make sure it's lubricated, including about the seal in there. Now we go ahead and goop this up and slam her together. Oh, damn! I got to run away. Well, well. You gotta make sure you use the correct gasket. This is the early one with a breather on it. This is the late one without the breather. So make sure you use the right one. We're gonna use our gasket goop again. That sucks. Lost all my hot sauce. Oh geez. So now I'm gonna have a counter full of hot sauce I gotta deal with yeah. tomorrow. Great. Your counter stole my hot sauce. Nice, thank you. I'm sure glad you came by. At least, at least that little spot's gonna smell good. <laughs> Yep. See what happens when you don't lock the door at nights? Look what happens. The vagrants came in. Yep. I'm surprised you got by the night watchmen out there. You have to fire them. So what are you going to eat at the taco shop on the corner? I don't eat at that taco shop on the corner. Oh. That's what you eat. You have to get all your surfaces done, then you do the gasket. All four surfaces get gooped up. Oh no. Oh jeez. My stomach's acting up. Yeah, already? It's only been like five minutes. Are farts supposed to be wet? <laughs> yeah. Not if you didn't drink anything. Oh, you drank the hot sauce. That's right. I forgot. I'm going to get all kinds of comments now. We don't want that. We don't want that in our motor. All right. Now I go ahead and put the gasket on it. Make sure you put it on the correct way. That helps. Then you put your cover on there. Boom! It looks like a motor again. Now we got a new problem. We stole my bolts. Or did we? No, I don't think I did. Okay, so now you put your cam cover bolts in with our AMA washers on there. Yeah, that's when he went at the damn soccer game out there. I don't know. It sounds like uh, maybe uh, it's a riot going on. Maybe. They probably smelt that damn taco you just ate. Might be out there. Okay. Let's see. Which one of these are long? It appears all these screws are about the same length. All right. Go in there like that. 
I'm going to put the longest one down there. Now you want to make sure you put a real long one right here in this back hole because that can walk off an old gallery in there if it goes in too deep. At least on Harley cases. I don't know about the Ultima cases, but Harley case you can have that problem. You can even see now, look at that chrome cover on there. Hey, you're making me not hungry. All I had today was uh, um, eight egg whites. Well, that should have been enough for the whole day. You would think. All that protein in there. Okay, after you get them all in there, then you torque them. So we have the official torque wrench. Yep, yeah, that's tight. Here's another one. That one. That one. That one. That one. Then you go over all of them, make sure they're tight, just in case they weren't. You know, if you don't tighten them, you need Loctite. If you tighten them, you don't need Loctite. Okay, and after you're all done, you gotta make sure the motor turns over. Ugh, yeah, it moves good. That's a good sign. There you go. Let me just for the hell of a check for employees. Oh, yeah, we got employee. That's good. Checking the breather valve, too. Let's see. Breather valve. Yep, got a breather valve. Starting to feel better. All right. So now that rotates nice and freely, just like we like. So it took a day and a half to get that motor in there, that part done. So you got the Ultima pump in there, looks good. It all rotates like it's supposed to, so we should be pretty good to go. Now the other thing I like to do is I take the valves out right up in here, I put oil down these and pre-lube them, and that helps pre-lube the pump. So we can do that too if you want. And I gotta put the valve in here. So I gotta go take care of the customer and then we'll come back and we'll get the lifters in here and that'll finish up this job for them for now. Alright, there we go.